Welcome back to Delamart's Concepts, right? All right, let's go. It says that the triangle ABC was mapped onto triangle A prime, B prime, C prime by a single transformation. The question says, describe fully this single transformation. So we have four main transformation to think about. And when we're talking about transformation, we're talking about an object transforming to something else, right? So here is the deal. You want to run those transformation that you know to see if you could actually pick up which one before you zoom in on what you need to, to do to readily describe it. So first, there are a number of transformations. So we're going to be looking at what they actually do. All right. So now if it were a reflection, if it were a reflection, we would have seen a situation like this. And you're seeing, look at how this is and look at how this turn. There is a flip, right? And there is actually some line in the middle of the two that function as a mirror. So if I'm not seeing a flip, right? Then I know it's not a reflection. Also, I'm seeing where the size is the same, right? And it's not a flip. Now let's look on a translation. So what a translation does, we're looking at this, looking at that. What the translation does, it's going to just change the location. For example, there is no flip. For example, take, take a look, there is no flip of this to that. It's set the same way. And everything but definitely we are noticing that it's in a different location but the size is the same right so it, it's looked different from the the, the the reflection because the reflection would have a flip there is no flip to this so when it's like a push like you just push this thing and it just push itself from here to here and nothing actually changes but its location then that's a translation right now let's look on a rotation a rotation would have the, the if this is the image look at the th that's the object look at the image and if this is the image look at the object we're talking about rotating yes it's the same shape but it doesn't look like a translation because the whole diagram is turning and the diagram is turning you could see for yourself that there is some twisting going on so it's not a it's not a rotation, right? So take a look at the question again. Look at that. You can definitely see that this is not a rotation. Number one, I'm seeing that the size has changed. All of those three that we looked at, the sizes were the same. So definitely, it's none of those. It's definitely what we classified as an enlargement right so this one is an enlargement right yes it is an enlargement no so i so we have agreed it's an enlargement so if i'm going to describe fully an enlargement there are a number of things that i want to point out one i want to point out the scale factor so we're gonna have to find the scale factor all right, so we're going to have to find the scale factor of the enlargement and lastly, the center for that enlargement. So every enlargement was developed from a particular center, from a particular place. We have to find those to describe this fully. So scale factor. Now let's focus on the scale factor. The scale factor, it is actually the concept that changes the object to the image. So we want to make sure that we identify what is the object, what is the image. From the narrative of the question, though, it will assist you. For example, it says here, the diagram ABC, right? The triangle, my bad, it says the triangle ABC was mapped. The triangle ABC was mapped onto A prime, B prime, C prime. So based on the narrative, this is my object. So this was the original thing, and this becomes my image right now right yes so that's my object and that's my image right so what we're about to do then is to understand that scale factor scale factor is equal to um an image idea and i'll tell you what i mean 
over an object idea. I'm referring to like the length of sides and the distance from the center. So whenever we actually have an enlargement, the scale factor will change the size of the object, all right, to create a, a new side for the image. So the scale factor is what contributes towards the change. So let us look. We're focusing on corresponding ideas, for example, right? So we have A prime, B prime, and we have A, B to compare. In other words, let us say I call the scale factor K, right? Just a letter. So, if, so that means the scale factor K. I need to count these sides. So how many units do I have for A prime, B prime? I'm looking at two units here. And I'm talking about the distance here. Two units. So, so A prime, B prime over AB should give us the scale factor. Let us count this. How many units? One, two, three, four. Right. Good. So this is four, which is from my image over four units from the object. So we could cancel down to its itself. One, two, three, four, two. Units cancel units, so the scale factor is a half. Scale factor is a half. Now, the thing is, I could have used another side, right? We could have looked at B prime, C prime over BC, and it will help us. What's the length of B prime, C prime? One, two units. BC, one, two, three, four units. And if I cancel down two fourths, I'm still getting a half, right? So there are various ways that we could have attempt that question, right? Good. So we have the scale factor, which is a half, right? The scale factor is a half. Now, apart from the scale factor, another thing that we really want to make sure that we have is that we need to find the center of that enlargement. Let's find the center of the enlargement. How do we find the center of an enlargement? If we should connect two corresponding points and then draw a straight line through them, very long line, so we need two pairs of two corresponding points. They will all converge at the center of the enlargement. Now, what, when we say corresponding points, A links to A prime, those are corresponding points. B links to B prime. That's another pair of corresponding points. Say C links to C prime. That's another pair of corresponding points. If we draw a very long line through them, they will all converge at where the center is, which is the development of your enlargement. So let us take some lines out and try to get this. So I'm at A, A prime. I'm gonna connect B to B prime. Already I'm seeing where they're overlapping. You don't have to do the third, but I'm just doing it. Two is enough. I'm gonna connect C to C prime. And that's the point we're making. Let's take a closer look right there. Let us take a closer look right there. They're all converging right here. This is the center of the enlargement. And the coordinate is negative six, negative two. So then, so, so that's, that's a nice idea. As long as we want to find, if, if I have the image and the object and I want to find the center of the enlargement, all I have to do is to connect two pairs of corresponding points and wherever they intersect, 
that's where the center is. Um, but I just did three there just for reinforcement. So the description of this is that this transformation is an enlargement. Right? With a scale factor of a half and the center negative six, negative two. So there it is. Thank you for watching Delimas Concepts. Subscribe, like, and drop a comment. And if you have any topic that you would love to see a video on, you could let me know down there. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.